Did Goldman Sachs just purchase $500 million of Bitcoin? Welcome back, everyone. So yesterday started seeing this tweet. First, I saw it from British HODL. Uh, a, um, he is a, I guess you'd say he's an influencer in quotations in the space. Um, he's been here for a few cycles. Uh, there's some people who call him out as a, uh, as a grifter and other people who love his hopium. Either way, this clip is not about, it's not about him. Okay. This clip is about the messaging that Goldman Sachs currently has $500 million of Bitcoin. We also saw from the politically motivated Dennis Porter that, again, confirming Goldman Sachs has $500 million of Bitcoin on its balance sheet. Now, what does Goldman Sachs actually hold? Well, it turns out, and shout out to, uh, to Humble Bitcoiner and um, Michael Grubb for providing me the, uh, the link to this 13F filing. And as it shows... Goldman Sachs doesn't hold any actual Bitcoin at all. All they hold are shares of the varying ETFs, as shown by this tweet from Dennis Porter. Now, what I think is very interesting, and again, the, the reason why I wanted to talk about this is this is it's just misinformation. OK, because Goldman Sachs doesn't actually hold any Bitcoin. And somebody earlier today, a fellow Bitcoiner, uh, pointed out to me that um, Goldman Sachs's Bitcoin holdings are, you know, no different than the position that MicroStrategy has. Now, look, you all know that I am not a Michael Saylor fanboy, but Michael Saylor, specifically MicroStrategy, actually purchases Bitcoin, the asset, okay? And then they put it on their balance sheet. They're not buying a bunch of ETF shares, okay, that are controlled by boards of directors and can be diluted at the drop of a hat. Very different, very different. So um, I, I do think that it is disingenuous messaging uh, from the Bitcoin cheerleaders to to try and essentially push this hopium narrative. And look, for those of us that have been here for a number of years, we always just go and double check this news. The real messaging here is for the noobs that guys just because you like a cheerleader, just because they always make you feel good with the happy Bitcoin stuff that they say, it doesn't mean that they're not trying to lead you down a path, right? Look, in my case, I always tell you guys this, I purchase Bitcoin and accumulate Bitcoin. I believe in Bitcoin only. So that is where my incentives are. That is where my incentives lie. I have no incentive whatsoever to tell you to purchase a Bitcoin ETF. I have no incentive whatsoever to fool somebody, especially myself, into thinking that paper Bitcoin in an ETF is somehow equivalent in qualities and properties as actual Bitcoin. And I, I guess the um, the way that I want to end this off is, is with this... Uh, this was a, a post on, on Reddit that I think is um, pretty significant and, and does... And, and does really help paint the picture. You could see it right here from Corbimos. You can't audit their liabilities. Sure, you can easily audit the amount of Bitcoin in their addresses. He's referring to the ETFs. But you can't prove what they owe to customers. Custodians will always be a problem. This is why self-custody is important. And indeed, I think he hit the nail on the head. Um, I, I do understand that the ETFs have an obligation, right? They are mandated to hold Bitcoin on their balance sheet. But if you read in the fine print, if you read in the fine print, it doesn't mean that they have to hold a specific amount of Bitcoin in relation to the number of shares that they issue. They can hold a basket of goods, which represents this value, okay? Including Bitcoin. That's the difference. Anyways, guys, uh, yeah, this is, I'm sorry, but Goldman Sachs did not purchase $500 million of Bitcoin. I don't care how you want to frame it, okay? Uh, Dennis Porter framed it as Goldman Sachs declares that they hold $500 million in BTC. 
and British HODL uh, framed it as Goldman Sachs declared a $500 million uh, position in Bitcoin. Now, those are vague enough to make you and me believe that this business actually custodies their own Bitcoin, which is it's just not true, right? It's vague enough for people to make that assumption, but that's not what's happening here at all. All they do is hold paper Bitcoin. Anyways, I, I understand, right? That's still better than nothing, but it is not Bitcoin, okay? And the key here is not to fool ourselves. Anyways, guys, that's all I wanted to bitch about today. I mean, talk about today. I'll catch you tomorrow. <laughs>